Hello and welcome, here is Utagawa Hiroshige's 100 Famous Views of Jedo, published by the German art publisher Taschen. 100 Famous Views of Jedo is a series of yukioi prints, and yukioi is a genre of Japanese art which flourished in the 17th century to the 19th century. The word yukioi translates to pictures of the floating world, and Jedo is the former name of Tokyo. Hiroshige painted these woodblock prints in the 19th century and he is considered the last great master of the yukioi tradition. But let's talk about this piece of art. The book is bound in a Japanese binding style and I will show that of course very soon. But first let's talk about the case the book comes in. It's bound in art paper. You can see this secure mechanism here to open up the case. And here you have Hiroshige and the 100 famous views of Edo. Uh, but there are uh, 120 uh, prints included. And here is the spine. And the back cover. It's a very big book with my hand for scale, but why waste more time and let's open the case up. And inside the case we have these uh, wood panels, um, but they are actually printed paper, uh, but it looks very nice. It looks very authentic. And here we have the Japanese bound uh, book. And I have to say that this edition is incredible, uh, very luxurious. And I was very surprised when I got it, uh, considering the price of this book. And I will talk about the price later also. But here is the front cover. The covers on the front and the back are a bit glittering. And it is different with the paper in the book. Uh, but uh, once again, we got Hiroshige, 100 famous views of Jedo, Tashin down here, uh, and this wonderful illustration. And of course, I'm sure you haven't missed the, the very different binding style here. So it's very simple. They have all the pages uh, lined up and then they just bind it together. Uh, through these holes. So the book has no spine, it's all open back here, all secured with this thread uh, that goes around the book. Very different to normal Smithson bindings. Let's continue inside. And the first thing you will notice with this book is the amazing colors that they have managed to bring out. And here comes the regular paper. And all of the pages here are uh, folded. Let's see if I can show that. You can probably see here that they are folded. But here we have the title page. And the printings comes from the Ota Memorial uh, Museum of Art in Tokyo. And here are the contents. And it does come with an introduction uh, to these uh, printings and also commentary with the plates as well. I'm just gonna skip over at this part and get to the printings. And before the prints uh, begin, you get a map uh, of Jedo. And here I guess are the table of contents. And then the 100 famous views of Jedo. 
begins. <laughs> One of the most satisfying things to do with this book is to just turn the pages. Since the folded pages have a lot of air between them, it makes it very satisfying to uh, flicker through the pages like this. <laughs> see all the fantastic printings. The quality of the paper is marvelous, the, the printing quality is fantastic, the colors are amazing. <laughs> There's just a lot of positives to say about this edition. I'm just gonna flick it through some of the uh, pages so you get a feeling of how the Yukio uh, paintings look like. You can see the commentary down here and the name. Yeah. And I personally love this kind of art. Some of you might have heard me praise uh, traditional Chinese art, but I do really fa fancy this kind of genre of uh, Japanese art as well. And the printings should be divided into uh, I'm not sure if they are in this edition, but um, but the famous views of Jero are divided into spring, summer, autumn and winter. But I'm not sure uh, that this book uh, covers that progression. And I think you can view all of them on, on Wikipedia. And here you can see the last plate. And then we got the bibliography. Uh, among other things. And the book is uh, 271 pages long. And uh, the back cover here is the same print as the front, but without any text. And I got this book for 280 kronor uh, here in Sweden, on a, and the shipping was free. And that is about $37 in the US and, and 26 uh, British pounds. Uh, so, so this masterpiece was cheaper than for example, this uh, paper-bound book from the Foley Society. It is cheaper than two very short uh, Everyman's Library books. But if you want to save money, I would recommend not getting this book from Tushin themselves, uh, since uh, since other bookstores often have a, a better price than them. But yeah, for my first Tushin, I'm very, very happy with this book. I'm very surprised by what you get for the price. Uh, I mean, the price is actually insane, consider compared to other books in the price range. You will even get books with glued bindings for that price sometimes. But I know that these pictures are in public domain, which helps uh, bring the price down, of course. But still, uh, from my first experience with Tashan, only good things to say about them. I have to say that the book can and probably will be a bit hard to handle, <laughs> since uh, you can see it will uh, try to lay down as soon as, you, as soon as you start turning the pages. You can see it's turning over. Which can be pretty annoying, since when it's like laying down, it's hard to keep the pages to stay open. Another thing to point out is that when you're holding the book, uh, when you have the book inside this case, please do not uh, hold it like this, since the book can just fall out uh, from underneath, since it's nothing holding it uh, back. So I would recommend uh, holding the book like this, or uh, having your hand uh, underneath it. And I will also recommend uh, placing your hand uh, underneath the book when you're placing it uh, on your bookshelf uh, since the thread underneath might get damaged if you uh, slide it on the bookshelf. So try to lift it up when you place it in your bookshelf and then lay it down uh, without the uh, thread 
they're touching the bouquets too much. So yeah, that was my presentation of this uh, very nice edition of uh, the 100 famous views of Shiedo. I can't recommend it enough if you are into Japanese uh, art, especially the Yukioi uh, tradition. And if you have any questions about the book or any other book in my collection, then please leave a comment and I will answer it as quickly as I can. And please check out my Patreon page if you want. The link is in the description or it's showing right here. But yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.